Johnny Paycheck is my guest this week. John, you know, I've never known much about Little John. You came out of Ohio, didn't you? Right. Sometimes I refer to you as Little John. How tall are you? Five foot five. Did it ever bother you? No. Never did. You wear those tall shoes? I wear boots, and I run about five seven in my boots. When you get those high Two heels? Two-inch heels, yeah. Huh? Yeah. But I've always wore boots, and, uh, and so I, you know, I just... Uh, but I, my height never did bother me. What uh, what part of Ohio did you come out of? Come out of uh, Greenfield, Ohio. Now, we have it's between lot... uh, Columbus and Cincinnati. We have a lot of stations in Ohio that carry this show, so they'll be happy that you're talking about them. Oh, Ohio's my, my state. They really... Uh, Back me all the way, you know. Did you, ever, did you ever carry a Buckeye in your pocket for good luck? No, but I used to use them to shoot marbles with. Oh, come on, that'd I'm be not, cheating. I'm not kidding. I used to, yeah. Now, I presume well, most people... We didn't have any marbles, so huh? we used Buckeyes. But Ohio's the Buckeye state, and uh, I guess about all they're good for is Lucky Charms. I never heard of anybody shooting marbles. They're not perfectly round, John. Well, I know, but you do the best you can, you see. And they're bigger than any marble. Well, yeah, they're they're big, but they they come in different sizes. But they're not very heavy, though. No, no. So uh, how'd you manage to to use them in a marble game? Well, you 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 just um, used them. I mean, that's, did you win with them? Well, uh, everybody was playing with them. Oh, ever so you? Oh, yeah, you wasn't shooting them against marbles. Those were the marbles too. Oh, well, you instead of marbles, you played with buckeyes. Buckeyes, yeah. Little Could, ones. Couldn't you afford uh, marbles? <laughs> Are huh? you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. No. Did you have a pretty rough childhood? There wasn't no... Uh, uh, I remember when uh, marbles and, and all that stuff, there wasn't, uh, you know, at the end of the war, there weren't, wasn't it, you couldn't find them or things like that around, uh, you know, the, the little town, bubble gum. I remember the biggest thrill of my life was when... I could go down to the store, and, and all of a sudden they had bubble gum in there. You know, we had a kid when I went to... During the war, I was in uh, grammar school. Mm -hmm. I guess you were. During World War II. Yeah. And there was a kid that could get a hold of bubble gum, and he'd bring it to school, and he'd, he'd sell a penny piece of bubble gum for a quarter and up to half a dollar. And sometimes he'd get it. Sure. Well, I mean, you know, up until that time, I, <clears throat> I'd only seen, uh, had maybe, you know, uh, just... Bubble gum very seldom in my whole life, you know, because I was a little, little kid. But I had seen it, and I had chewed it once in a while. Now, since you were denied it as a child, does it make you want to still buy it as an adult? N no, because before I left my childhood, it came back into being, and I had all I wanted. Oh, I'd love to see you blow a bubble with that mustache. Uh, You'd be three weeks getting <laughs> it out of there. <laughs> uh. 